I think I think he took it out. I think he took it out on his own. What's up guys? It's Leviathan and we're back with another reaction. We're, we're continuing off um, the new anime that started this season, Orient. We're on episode three today. I'm excited to, to watch it because it kind of came out today, and um, we're about to see what really, really is about to go down with this Kishin fight because they're still kind of fighting that uh, that big Kishin that came in. But last episode, what was interesting was like you had a lot of um, uh, what's it called? Um, Kojiro stuff and things like that a lot of focus on him and like why he wants to be a bushi and things like that and how he wants to kind of um, um, Accept his heritage at least and that was kind of what he was kind of going through with like him Accepting his bushi heritage and becoming a bushi with Musashi. So both of them are definitely now um, Confident enough to really start and fight fighting the bushi the um, no, not sorry, the Kishin <laughs> they were getting ready to kind of fight the Kishin when a bunch of other Bushi came in So we learned that there was more bands of Bushi around the areas or surrounding areas And we got more characters to kind of look forward to so I'm excited to see see what happens with that um, We left off the last episode kind of having um I think his name was, you know what, honestly, I, I cannot remember his name, the blue haired guy, but he, he ended off the episode kind of admiring Musashi's um, determination and things like that. So it was pretty interesting to see um, what was going on there, but I'm excited to get started with the episode. So we're going to get started. Let's go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. You know, it helps out the channel a whole lot, gets more traction going, and you know, honestly, it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like this channel is actually getting somewhere yeah and um don't forget to check out the patreon as well honestly you know you get full uncut cut reactions of of this show other things movies tv shows bunch of other stuff that you probably won't even see on youtube so definitely check that out worth worth a shot for sure and it's only one dollar so you'll get all that content for only one dollar anyway we're gonna get started with orient episode three let's go yeah, this makes a lot of sense because I was thinking before that there has to be like a special way to take out a Kishin. Especially that Kishin that can regenerate so quickly and things like that. You see what he was saying? He was like, you're, you're being reckless, Musashi, man. How are you planning to kill it by yourself? Exactly. You gotta work as a team, man. Yo, those are some serious words right there. He's like, yo, you haven't risked your life. He straight up said, he's like, you haven't risked your life enough to to really be able to jump in and, and be able to take out this Kishin on your own, Musashi. なんだかでかいもん。俺一人じゃ倒せねえ。でも、なんだこいつ。ウイチョチョ。行かなきゃ。自分の命を懸けてでも譲れない何かがあるのなら、そいつは武士なのさ。え、まずい。心格が狙われ
Wait, did, did Musashi just mess up their shot? Or did that thing just essentially fall down? Yo, this background music is pretty nice, I like it. I think I think he took it out. I think he took it out on his own. No, never mind. Hold on. So they essentially absorb the the Kishin's power, and is that how they get stronger and and be able to do all those like tricks where like they're flying and shooting light beams and stuff? あなたは町田 Shut up. These guys would rather worship the, the Kishin and the Oni than, than to believe in like a resistance to be able to take them out. の妥当より現状の安定を望む者、鬼のいない未来を望む者、願いを託し託され、名を継ぎ、技を受け継いでここまで来た。その世代で勝ち取ろう。150年前にこの国に来た、あの正体のわからねえ化け物に怯えずに
鬼神は偉業鬼面怪力乱心人の世を蹂躙する神ならば全て滅ぼし人間の世界を取り戻せまだ誰も成し得ぬ巨大な夢か武士の死 That's a great dream to follow, man. The destruction of all the Kishin and saving the world of Hinomoto. That's a great, great goal to, to strive for. Kishin o t a o s h t a Sai Kyo no Bushi no Teni Jingi wa Mai Modor. Sore Snawach. Tenka Toits. Tenka Toits. Hinomoto no Arata na Oto Naru de Aro. Doko Ikunda yo. Kono Kuni no Otora Tachi ga Hokori o Ste. Oni to Tataka Koto o Akira Michima Tanaka de. I guess what his goal was for giving him that kaleidoscope thing was to have him kind of、um, join his crew, I think, and be inspired to become a bushi. Yep, I love that he's challenging Takeda here and he's telling him I'm gonna be the one who's going to be the king of Hinomoto. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to see how the outside world is like and how different it really is. Yo, they're real adventure starting now, man. I'm excited. They finally got out of、um, their little town. Looks like we're about to meet our third member of the crew to join us. Okay, guys. So. That was Orient episode 3. First off, I want to really make note here that it looks like the animation has improved a little bit. So that's always a positive, and that's great. Love that. Great, great、um, episode, honestly, solid. I loved how they、um, concluded that,、um, that, uh, that battle with Engoku Tengen. I got the name right for the first time here Engoku Tengen, or Engoku. I think that's what it was, whatever. <laughs> the gigantic red monster thing, they finally defeated it.、Um, I don't know why I half expected Musashi to kind of like take it out on his own. I felt like maybe that might have been a bit of a pre too premature, depending on the fact that the guy, Takeda, was like, look at how many Bushi are just there just to, just to like kind of subdue it without even defeating it. He's like, you can't hope to. Be able to defeat this thing without the proper training. So he was right. Like, he took that thing out like nothing. But he really he really did what he wanted to do. And and、um, he inspired Musashi to to want to grow and to become a lot stronger. Because originally, Musashi thought, oh, I'm going to take out these Kishin. And he thought it was a very, very easy goal, right? He wasn't really understanding how much of a difficult task he was about to jump into with, with um, fighting. Um, What's it called? Kishin and stuff. But now, as a Bushi, I think he understands、um, how difficult it would be by actually fighting one of these Kishin and actually has a goal towards、um, unifying Hinamoto, right? And becoming it, Hinamoto's new king or ruler, right? And the person who becomes the ruler would be the person who unifies them, which is the person who kind of defeats the most Kishin. And I love that because when he gave him the kaleidoscope thing, it, it kind of gave him an effect,、um, uh, Musashi an effect to kind Kind of want to go out and say, Yo, you haven't done this, you haven't、uh, accomplished this goal. Nobody has, has accomplished this goal. I can still kind of、um, accomplish whatever dreams that I'm searching for because nobody has accomplished this yet. So it was definitely a motivator for him and it was really great.、Um, Kojiro, I really want more out of his character. I hope we get more out of his character when it comes to fighting Kishin. I really hope we get a lot more struggle with all three of them. I don't know what the, what the third character's name is. We'll, we'll find out ep next episode, episode four.、Um, it seems like they introduced her at the end of the episode here, so really excited for that. She's an intriguing character. I don't really know what her personality might be like. Originally, I assumed she might be like a hothead,、um, a bushi or whatever, but it looks as though that she might be a little bit of.、Um, A softy kind of maybe, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that was Orion episode three. Great episode, honestly. Really enjoyed it. 
Um, I think that's it for the video, guys. Wanted to really quickly say thank you guys for all the support you give. It's been awesome just just doing this, honestly. It's been so enjoyable, and it's great to have support and consistent people who, who really are there to, to, to pick you up. So thank you guys all for all that support and all, all of this. It, it really means a lot to me, honestly. But um, with that note, I think I will end this here. I will see you guys around, and peace. Bye-bye.